hello, it's Kay in front of the camera, or Kay's hands in front of the camera, and it's Maggie behind, hello. Okay, and um, we're going to be putting together our sleigh and reindeer um, set. So I've got the pieces for the sleigh here. So you get two rail bits that go to the top of the sleigh, the sleigh body, and you get two ski bits at the bottom. Okay, and you get, for your seat, you get two pieces like that, a back, a seat, and the um, front kit plate, I suppose you call it. That's where your legs rest onto the back. So we'll put those together in a sec. So just move these ones out of the way. These come all so, tabbed, don't they? Yeah, they all come tabbed. So this is like the reindeer's been tabbed, but they all come tabbed. So all you need to do is break the tab with a sharp knife. And there's no more than two tabs per item. So once you've found two, that's it. And then they just fall out. Usually they're opposite each other, aren't they? Usually. That's not always the case, but anyway, that, it's that simple. That's how you get, get rid of the tabs. So Maggie has done this for me, so that's good. It's okay, so allowed. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was simple. Right, this is... <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, so, so you've got your seat sides, and they are a matching pair like that. So we'll start off with this one. Okay, this is your back you've got that bit at the top and this bit will fit in like that. You've got two rectangles. The bigger one is your seat and that will fit in like that. That makes sense. And then this bit is where your legs rest down and that fits in like that. I'm not quite sure how well you can see that. Yep, you can. Okay, like that. You do okay. get a layout sheet, don't you? So you don't worry about sheet. thinking, yep. oh, I don't know what's what. So I'm going to put some glue on. And for this bit, I tend to find putting all the glue on first, then sticking it together makes life a lot easier. So it's going to fit along here and along there. So that's where the glue is going to go. And that goes like that. I'll just leave that to one side for a minute. And this one's going to fit along the side and along the top, so let's get that side done. And along there. Okay, I'll just leave that. And this one's going to fit along here and along there, so that's where I'm gonna put the glue. So then we're gonna put our seat like that. Pick up our seat and put it like that, and making sure that this piece is nice and square with that piece. If you can see that, can you see that, Maggie, or not? Um, let me just zoom in a little bit. Oh, that's better. There you go, like that. Oops. I'm just gonna, I'll go back a bit, I'm just gonna zoom in. Yeah, perfect. Mm -hmm. And then this one fits in there, like that. Okay, and just make sure everything's nice and square, squared up. Okay, and that's half your seat done. And then this piece will fit like that. So I'm now going to glue along here, along there, and down there. And you end up with a really neat finish, don't you? Well, hopefully you do. Backs up to the edges. That's it. Okay, and then that fits in to there like that. Okay, so what we need to do then is once it's glued, and a good tacky glue. Is, a, is, an, is an asset on this. So, let's bring that up. So everything, you want it all nice and square. Okay, and when it's all together, you can turn it up and that is your seat. Wipe off any excess glue, and then just leave that to set while you put your sleigh together. So I'll just move that across. Hold on a second, I've just moved it out and yeah. out of the way, so I'll just, just hold on a sec. And then we're going to put our sleigh together. Okay, so what we've got is if you've got your ski bits and your top rail bits. And then what we're going to do is put the body of the sleigh together first. And you've got a big tabby section, which fits into the bottom like that. It will only fit in one way. So you've got that slightly longer than that. So you want to turn it over and make sure it fits like that. Does that make sense? 
Okay. So the shorter bits. The shorter, shorter bits. At where the, front. the notch is, where yeah, the hole yeah, is. Yeah, which is the front of your sleigh. Yeah. Okay. And then again, you have the same thing on this side. Is you've got the, your little kick plate, and if that is shorter than that, and you want the shorter side facing the piece that you've just put in, like that. So we're going to glue those into place, and we're going to put a bead of glue along here as well. Okay. So just do that. Put a little bit of glue along here. Put that in this place. Like so. And then I'm going to put glue along here and along there. There's a bead of glue along there as well. Okay, it's quite simple to put together, not difficult. So, should be fine. Okay, so that fits in like that. It would be helpful if I actually put the glue in the right place, wouldn't it? <laughs> that's, that's I didn't you, notice. Uh, that's how simple it is, Ken. That's, 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 how, that's how simple it is. <laughs> and if you've got some, somebody putting it together with half a brain, it we'll would be, we'll be more helpful anyway. <laughs> and then we're going to just do... Put that on there. And I'll just put a little bit of glue. It's on that toe bit. Got that one as well. And that will fit straight over the top. Need to just to position it in the right place. And it should just slot into place. There we go, like it's that. It's very satisfying. Okay, so when that's uh, now, this is the most difficult bit is you want to get it upright without it falling to pieces. So just put it up together like so. Okay, at this point, because it's not quite stuck, it is quite delicate. Okay, so what I tend to do now is I'll get my chair back which is now stuck a bit further, and then I'm going to put it in my slate. Now, just be careful, because the whole thing can collapse at the point. And I'll just put it in like that, and what I tend to do then is now move that to the one side. I don't stick it in, I just put it in. If you want to use elastic bands, you can do to keep it in place. What I found is if you have anything with too much stretch, the whole thing collapses on you. So you just want it gently gently to put together so you want elastic band without too much elastic so you don't you don't push it in too much you just keep it into literally just keep it into position you don't want a monster band okay. like we no. use sometimes no you don't you don't want a big you don't you want it with less tension okay so and then just leave that to dry and the chair's okay. designed um, we haven't stuck the chair have we because you've no, moved I just it said, backwards I just say, forwards yes, I did did say, you just say that sorry yes, yes, I, did say I that. wasn't paying attention <laughs> obviously <laughs> okay so while that's setting we can put you be Thinking about our reindeer. Now my able assistant has untied all these for me. So you get two reindeer in each kit, so you get two bodies, and then you get two bases. You get two um, holding poles, and they're slightly different sizes. So one is slightly higher than the other. That is designed. It is designed that so it looks like the that's take off. So you get two of those. You get two of those, two bases, and you get one side of your reindeer fits on that side, and the other one fits on that side, and obviously you get a pair of those, and then you obviously get antlers, you can't have a reindeer without antlers, because it's Christmas, so we'll start putting these together. Now what I tend to find is I put the base bit together first, so I'll just put one of the bases together, and what I tend to do is that dowel fits into here. I put a little bit of glue around there. I put a bit of glue along here like that. Can you see that all right? Yep. Okay, and then I fit in the smaller one with a hole, and that fits on the top, and that pushes it down. It's a nice neat finish. And then I put a load of glue on here like that, and then position that on the base. Very neat. Okay, so that, and you just make sure, just wiggle it around just to make sure it's completely perpendicular. It's a long word. It is, isn't it? Can you spell it? No, because I can't <laughs> spell it. I can barely say it. <laughs> Sorry, that was me. <laughs> but fun. <laughs> can I spell perpendicular? Of course I can't spell perpendicular. Straight. Yes, yeah, it's a straight. <laughs> <laughs> I've got, I've got, I've got, that, that's on a good day, I can spell that. that there you go. 
Okay, so leave that to set, and then you put your reindeer together. And that's as simple as, as putting a bit of glue on this bit. So that's his body. And putting your reindeer on top. And then just manipulate it so it's all, all the oil, like the nose and the tail. Everything matches up. I love this design, Kay. It's okay. so clever. And then just push it. Oh, I'm glad you, I'm glad you like it. I do like it. Okay, and you put that together like that. I have to tell you, she moaned because she didn't want to do it, but it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I do love moaning. <laughs> um, like that. And then put some more glue on this other bit of body. And because you can put the antlers on, give it a squidge glue in the middle, like that. And put your other side of your reindeer on. And again, you can just manipulate it to make sure everything's matching up. So it's all straight together. Now at this point, if you want to, you could just keep that together and glue it and put, with peg it. So you can put some pegs on that just to make sure that's straight and stays in the right place. But I haven't got any, so we won't do that here. Okay, so when you're happy with that, so it's not moving anywhere, you can put your antlers in, and they will just fit in like that. And because you've got some glue in there already, they will stay firm like that. And then you just need to put those somewhere just to set for a few minutes. Just left these to stick for a few minutes. Um, I would give it about an hour or so if I was at home. But we just that's just firm enough, I think. So what do you do with your reindeer? So you've got your reindeer here. Now at this point you've decorated them as you like. So you put, don't forget to do inside his legs because we don't want a bear, we don't want a bear leg, do we? Because he might get cold. He would get cold. <laughs> okay, so you've decorated your um, reindeer and then this little hole here, just give it a little square of glue inside. Have you decorated your base as well? Yeah, you can decorate your base hole. as well, yeah. So everything's decorated, so you've, you've decorated them separately and then you just push that in there and that will stand. That is so cool. So that is your reindeer stand. So I, then at uh, that point I will now just leave it quietly overnight just to set. Okay, so that is your reindeer stand. Okay, and you'll be beautifully decorated. So he can disappear off for a minute. Okay, and back to our sleigh. Okay, again, I would give, probably just give this overnight. So let's hope it doesn't fall to pieces on us, but we'll see. Okay, so take off your plastics, and then you'll find that you've got your seat is loose. So the idea is having a loose seat is if you want to stick it in, you do do stick it in. But I've left it so you can have a sack at the back if you want. You can put presents at the back. You can have chocolates at the back. You can move it backwards and then have lots of chocolates at the front it's entirely up to you but if you want it in a fixed place just glue it that's fine and you can hide something under the seat oh yes you, yes you've got a, a secret hidey hole under the seat as well so, so you've got a secret hidey hole under the seat so the advantage of having it the, the chair in in the sleigh while it's drying uh, um, the glue setting is so that it will fit back in okay so it's entirely how to do now the next bit is you would probably decorate your sleigh like this and then you'll decorate your runners and your top rail. Now bear in mind <laughs> that... Guess so, who didn't, I'm just going to say first. <laughs> so, so, so we know this from somebody's experience, not necessarily mine, <laughs> is that you're gluing it that way so you will be decorating that side and you'll be gluing that side, decorating it that side, okay? So bear in mind it'll be different when you turn it over. So if I turn it over... You obviously will be moving that that way, so you'll decorate it like that. And then this one, as you can see, you'll be decorating it that way. So just make sure you've got them on the right way round. So there is, they are a pair, but they fit in there like that. So yeah, if you want to paint these like gold or whatever, and this red, that means that you don't have to worry about getting it on the body of the, of the piece. And that is as simple as that, really. So these are going to fall off. Lovely. So. I want to decorate this later, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to stick them together now. But that's the, how the sleigh works, and I'll bring our reindeer back. And you would obviously have a pair of reindeer, and they're off, ready for Christmas Eve. And lots okay. of chocolates. <laughs> and lots of chocolates. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Bye. <laughs>